Hi, and welcome to another Patch of the Week. This week's patch is the animation patch. So what do we use this with? Well, as you probably guessed, the animation and loop animation patches are commonly used for progressing through our animations within our effects. Although we can use them in many other interesting ways as well, such as, as timers. The animation patches are commonly used alongside the transition patches, which describes how our animations progress. We'll also cover those in the example. The animation patch receives a pulse input to activate it, a pulse input to reverse it, a pulse input to stop it, and a pulse input to reset it. You can also add a value into the time slot as well, and that describes how long our animation patch should take to progress from zero to one. The loop animation patch has a Boolean signal which enables it and disables it at the top. So this allows you to send a signal to your loop animation patch to start it whenever you want. The animation patch and loop animation patches both have the same outputs. The top output is a zero to one signal. Animations progress from zero to one, no matter how many frames they have. So our animation patches output a zero to one signal from the top output and the bottom output emits a pulse when our animation completes. So this can tell the rest of our effect that our animation has completed and we can go do something else now. Because we can output an animation complete signal, we can also use these patches as a timer. So say if I wanted to have a two second timer, I would have a number two in the duration box. Uh, then I would send a signal to start my timer. And then once it was completed, the complete output would fire and that would allow me to have timed two seconds within my filter. Welcome to our animation example. Um, in this file, which you'll be able to download free from the link below if you want to play with it, we have two different kinds of animation. We have a 2D animation, I'm going to turn that off, um, and we also have a 3D animation. And these animations are controlled by our animation patches, which are right here. So let's start with a 3D animation example, which is this one here, this 3D cube. Let's make this a little bigger. Right, as you can see, the cube is doing some funky little dance in there. If we come down to our patch editor, this is the logic that controls the rotation of the cube and we are controlling it using two different animation patches here. So the first animation patch here, this is the loop animation patch. Um, this has got a duration of two and a half seconds. And if you see, I will hit this and that will stop there. Um, and what this is doing, I'm using this one as a timer. Uh, so this isn't actually directly controlling the animation. That's what this patch here is doing. So every two and a half seconds, this timer completes and it fires a pulse from this bit here, as you can see. And what that does, that's flipping the switch. Um, and this switch is going all the way through to our pulse patch. So when it's turned on, it plays forwards. And when the switch is turned off, it plays backwards. Um, this patch here is what's controlling the animation. Uh, we have a duration here of two seconds because if it was any longer, it wouldn't complete before it had to go back. So let's try that. So we turn it to four. It should only get part of the way through before it has to bounce back the other way. That we can see that happening there. Um, so you can do lots of fun little things with those. So every two seconds, this is completing. It comes through to our transition patch. So in each animation, this is going from zero to one here. Uh, in this case, the start point is zero and the end point is one. And so when it plays from zero to one, it transitions from this rotation position to this rotation position here. Um, and this here is called the curve. So we have all of these options here for different kinds of things. If you want just a straightforward linear transition between those two positions, we can have that. Or if we want something a bit crazy, like an elastic in out, we can have that as well. Um, so have a play with those, go through all the different ones and you can try them and see what they all do. Um, they're all very useful for different things in making effects. Uh, but realistically, they're just animating the transition between these two rotation values. 
Right, uh, so let's move on to our 2D animation example. Uh, this is a 2D animation of a cube, not a 3D. So if we turn it to the side, you can see that it's just playing on a flat plane. Uh, so if I go down here to materials and remove our animation texture, you can see it's just a flat plane. Then we'll add our animation sequence back in. And as you can see, that's playing through there. So this is a 2D animation I've created in Blender. So I've made a 3D animation in Blender and exported it as a set of 2D images. And that's what we're looking at here. So this is a really common way of doing animation. And we can also use our animation patches to cycle through these as well. So what you do is Let's delete this off and we'll start again. So we'll go down here to add um, and we will create a new animation sequence. Um, and then with this animation sequence, we will choose to advance it this way. And then we will pick our animation text there and add it to our cube animation material. And there we go. As you can see, it moves through that way. So this is taking three seconds to animate from zero to 120 because there's 120 frames in this animation. Um, so as you can see, this uh, animation patch is transitioning the frame transition here. Uh, we could probably actually do the same thing with a regular transition patch. So if we take this transition patch and we go to number and then we'll go to 120 frames because there are 120 frames in our animation and join this up here and you see it's still working as before you can have a play with play around with these and see what works best for you but I'll leave it like this and you can download this file in the link below let me know what you think thanks a lot for watching uh, if you're enjoying these do let me know in the comments if you have any questions about how to use these patches. Also ask me down there as well, I'll be happy to answer them. Uh, if you have another patch that you really want covered, let me know and I'll try and get one of these videos together for that as well. But thanks again for watching and I'll catch you again in the next one. Bye.